Hey guys, it's me here, Rene. And Chen here. And we are in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. And what we did, we just got the whole Komu Assist system installed. And right now, to tell you more about the car that we're driving and how the system works is Jun. So right now, we're driving a Porodua Ativa. And we've just had it visit. And uh, we'll talk you through how to turn it on and off. So to turn on the system, is as easy as uh, just pushing the cruise control and the set button. Uh, every car is a little bit different, but this one is how it's set on the Ativa. And um, as you can see, what Jun's gonna do is actually, he's actually gonna take his hands off this oh, We have a couple of cameras installed uh, in the car as well to show you uh, the screen shot of how the system actually works. And how, to, how do you know that a system is actually active is the fact that there's a green box around uh, the monitor which shows you that system is alive. And depending on how fast that you're going, of course, uh, it is going to adjust accordingly as what Jun mentioned. Right now, for the cruise control, he, ha he has it actually uh, to, to first keep a distance about three car lengths away. And um, as you can see, the system is working beautifully. Yeah. This, is, this is great. The system stays in line. It, it moves when it needs to. It stops when it needs to. Okay. Actually, on quite a crowded road right now. It's still highway, but um, yeah, you see there's cars in front. It will stop accordingly. Right now is, is what you can see from the, the screen itself. It's showing you a little arrow on the screen. Uh, you should be able to see it on, on one of the shots that we're taking. And it actually shows you how the car is actually tracking what's ahead of it. Okay, and right now, uh, what, what Jun's gonna do is gonna show us a little demo about. It's actually taking a little mile corner on the highway. And as you can see uh, on the other screen that we have for you, he's actually following, he's actually tracking the road quite well. Uh, is it stable? It's absolutely right. stable. Okay. And um, the other conditions of the roads that we can actually be testing, uh, uh, what are the roads? Are you, what so we'll, we'll go into the city roads and mm -hmm. we'll go into a B road as well after right. this. Okay. Uh, so what the system, I think in general, uh, as what Kumo mentioned as well, is really ideal for highway driving, which is what uh, June is actually showing. In a sense that uh, because in highway driving, you're talking about a long stretch of road. So the, the traffic is very constant and the system actually manages to you know track cars and also maintain its level of distance quite well. So what we're going to do now is actually going to check out what, what road are we going on to next. So we're going on to City Road next. Right, so now on next, our next challenge of the system, on to City Roads. Right folks, we're now um, going to test the system in traffic conditions, alright, so June, June, take it away. Yeah, so now we are entering KL and of course there's always a lot of traffic and uh, I'm here with the system on with neither my hands or my feet on. Right, and I have this, this GoPro as well, which I'll be shooting traffic as it is actually happen, happening while we're driving. And as you can see, uh, June has his foot actually off the pedal. Uh, systems yeah. are actually running, uh, the Komu is basically running itself. And what the Komu assist actually does, it doesn't um, cut off your onboard car systems totally. You know? So it, your, your, your car systems are actually still alive. What the Komu assist actually does, it actually complements your system by giving you the added level of uh, autonomous driving, okay, which, is, which is what actually is happening right now. Would you like some water maybe? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, just to yeah. show you that this is actually live and yeah. actually doing it. Okay. Uh, once again, as you can see, Jude has his hands totally off the system. And how is the, is the car actually staying in lane? Right the car is absolutely staying in lane. As you see, uh, the car in front cut us, but the, the system cut. Uh, started breaking in and uh, avoided the cars. Okay. So it does work. So I guess, uh, you know, this uh, basically wraps up our drive experience uh, with the Como Assist. Uh, to summarize everything up, uh, what, what as, as we mentioned from the very beginning of the video is uh, this being a new system and uh, even uh, Kian has also agreed as well it's, it's really work in progress uh, there's still a lot of kings that they have to work out in the system uh, but for now for what the system actually is you know we, we, did, we did the highway testing we, we did the, the bureau testing, and actually the system actually adapts uh, really well enough for you to actually uh, you know to attain a level 2 autonomy uh, level 2 autonomy and uh, right now, I think one of the major, uh, there's not really major, one of the things that I think is, uh, you know, that they really have to improve is the fact that, uh, of the visibility of the system. Example, when it cuts into your lane, you can't actually see you, it has, to, and it also has issues uh, detecting things like motorbikes. It's a bit of a lag. You're right, exactly. So, uh, still a lot of progress, but for for right now, if you're, if you're doing a lot of highway driving, I think uh, this system is really ideal because it really, it really nails it in, in, in highway, so, highway driving as well. I mean, we did that test and it really works really well. So, uh, yes, I guess uh, on behalf of myself, Rene, and Chen here, uh, we want to say thank you so much for joining us on Rev Evolution as we test out the Komu Assist. Thank you.